Hello, welcome to European Open Briefing for Friday, February the 1st. I'm Rafi Bayajian, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be having a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So I've got a mixed risk sentiment this morning. Uh, we've got uh, both good and bad news. We did hear some positive remarks regarding the progress of the US-China trade talks, uh, which uh, took place th this week in Washington. Uh, but we did get more negative manufacturing data out of Asia, in particular the the, the market PMIs. So that is weighing on sentiment uh, somewhat. So we can see in Asia it was a mixed uh, session, although Chinese indices closed up ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday. Uh, and it's a mixed start at the moment uh, in Europe. Uh, having a look at the US dollar, the dollar index um, more or less flat at the moment at around 95.58. The dollar index did get a bit of a boost yesterday from a drop in the euro, which uh, this morning uh, has that it is marginally higher at 1.4. Uh, 46 at the moment. A uh, dollar yen is also slightly up. The dollar yen. Uh, did uh, come under pressure uh, yesterday. Uh, sterling also flat uh, and uh, risk sensitive currencies though uh, are a little bit weaker this morning in particular the Aussie uh, which is down by 0.4% uh, mainly due to uh, disappointing uh, manufacturing PMI uh, out of uh, China. The focus later today will be on the uh, US uh, jobs uh, report those are due at 1330 uh, GMT. Uh, so let's see what was said about the trade talks. Both the US and Chinese trade representatives said that good progress uh, was made uh, in the two-day talks. Uh, Trump uh, also tweeted saying that they were going well, but that no final deal will be made until he meets with President Xi. Uh, that could come in the next few uh, weeks. Uh, so that has boosted optimism that we will eventually see a, 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 subst a comprehensive trade deal between the two uh, countries. Uh, having a look at the Australian dollar yesterday, the Aussie had managed to rise to two months high. Uh, it has uh, fallen off those uh, peaks following the Chinese manufacturing PMI. The yuan uh, is also down uh, this morning. Yesterday, the yuan did manage to rise to a six and a half months high. Uh, but there is talk at the moment that the People's Bank of China could potentially cut its benchmark rate, uh, possibly even today, ahead of the week-long Lunar New Year holiday. So Chinese markets will be closed in the coming uh, week. Uh, and looking at the euro now, we can see there's been a substantial pullback from that three-week high uh, earlier this week of 1.15. Uh, 15. Uh, so we did see GDP numbers out of the eurozone yesterday. The euro wide, the, the eurozone wide figures were at 0.2 percent quarter on quarter in the final three months of 2018, as was expected. Uh, but it, Italian GDP disappointed. Italy is now officially in, in a technical uh, recession as GDP has contracted for the second uh, consecutive uh, quarter. On top of that, we did uh, hear remarks from the Bundesbank president uh, Jens Weidmann, uh, who's also ECB board members saying that dipping growth in Germany is likely to extend into the current year uh, and that we could still get more bad news from the German uh, economy. So uh, he was very downbeat about uh, German growth. So that uh, led to the euro uh, falling back to around 1.1445 uh, at the moment. As for sterling, it continues to hover around one point, uh, around the 1.31 uh, level. Uh, it's being supported mainly by the softer US uh, dollar, uh, but the investors are really waiting for Theresa May's next move, or at least how she's going to she's going to present her next plan uh, to the EU. Given that the EU have strongly uh, rejected uh, the possibility of re renegotiating the withdrawal uh, agreement, and then in the more immediate term, though, UK manufacturing PMI will come into focus. Those are due at 9:30 GMT. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.